And we're back with another episode of Dick Talk and Mimosas. <laughs> we are recording virtually because we're in a fucking pandemic. So yeah. we're going to raise the glass virtually and uh, take yeah. a sip of this awesome thing that we're drinking. Amanda, do you want to talk about what we're drinking? Uh, I'm drinking an old fashioned, but I just <laughs> finished it. So now I'm drinking this is my curated Nomadica. Um, I think our liquor daddy actually hooked us up because he gave us three packs. So like my pack says um, pink river rosé on it. Mm. However, I noticed, uh, Anna noticed, we all have a little tear in ours because I think he mixed and matched for us because he knew that we were going to be in a quarantine recording. Yes. We love our liquor daddy. Yes. Yeah, we love our liquor daddy. Not only is he is he's concerned about our safety and fairness of everyone getting a little of everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yes, I have a sparkling rose. I have a red wine blend. I have a pink river rose and a sparkling white. So, I think I have one of everything. And I think y'all do too. We all do. Yeah. We all have the same thing then. And it's from Nomadica. So thank you to the liquor, our liquor daddy, uh, which is at the liquor fountain on Instagram. It's really good. I'm already two cans deep, and I'm pretty tipsy. So I'm really, I'm really, I'm really drunk right now, to be honest. I'm gonna start with this pink river rose because I really <laughs> like the can. And so I read on the side of one of these. Let's see. Does it say? Okay, yeah. It says craft wines from around the world, smelly, curated, uh, designed by artists, run by women. Crack this can for everyone. Wait, wait, let me make this one again too. Hold on, here we go. Oh, Ooh, I just came a little. I just came out of my mouth a little. <laughs> Delightful. It's nice. And it's fun that it's in a can. I feel like um it's perfect for all of the things that you shouldn't be drinking at, like road trips or smuggling oh. into concerts or wherever you're going because it's yeah. COVID, most likely you're going to your couch and pretending like you did anyway. <laughs> Side note, you girls didn't know this, but I actually ordered this brand this last week through the app. And it's because, so the reason why we're doing this episode remotely is because I'm doing two COVID contracts right now. So until I get my vaccine and I get like rapid tested, then I, we kind of decided like unanimously that I was like safest to not me today in person, but I'm also stressed the fuck out. So I'm like, I need some liquor in my life after every shift. So I ordered this not knowing that our liquor daddy was going to give us this. So we're kind of like on the same page. You're on, you're on round two, personally. I'm on round three. Ooh, three. I'm on round two. <laughs> honestly, I'm a lightweight. Round one was enough for me, honestly. Uh, no, I'm drinking three, whiskey four, and four. Wine. Yeah, but we are recording this virtually to be safe, as Anna said. Yes. And because we are in a fucking pandemic still. Mm -hmm. And this year we're gonna we're this episode we're gonna talk about how this year went. This is sort of our end of year episode, also our New Year's resolutions episode if we have any resolutions. Mm -hmm. So ladies, how did your year go? It's hard to even remember what's happened in this year because um <laughs> for myself I've I've worked through this whole COVID thing. Um and actually because uh, we're recording. It's the weekend of Christmas. Um, this weekend, having I, mean, I like specifically asked my cat's destroying shit back there. Uh, I specifically asked for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off because I haven't had any days off <laughs> since COVID. <laughs> so uh, just having five days in a row off has felt like it. It's felt like a whole month that I've been home. Like, I, I don't know what everyone's going through with the like being home all day and getting bored out of your mind. I'm like, I, I've been home for five days straight and it feels like it's I've been in my house for a month without leaving. <laughs> well, how how was your Christmas day, Amanda? It was good. Um, we're in like a weird um, quarantine inside a quarantine. Like it's like inception a little bit. Um, <laughs> Because obviously we're quarantining for COVID, but also I have a cat 
and uh, Boothang, he's either Boothang or anonymous audio engineer. Um, <laughs> Two person, if you're not going. a pit bull that's a rescue. And so obviously he was, you know, never really great with cats. And although we try and we do a lot of, you know, like continuous work with the two of them, it's like we can't trust them to be by themselves. So it's like the last five, whatever it's been, uh, four days of being home. Um, it's been me and my cat in my bedroom and then the the, the guy and the pit bull in the living room. And <laughs> it's like... Even though we're staying in the same house, it's like I go sleep in my bed at night with my cat and he sleeps on the couch with the dog. And we made this like crazy couch fort thing because I have a sofa and I have a futon. So we moved the futon in front of the sofa. So it's like a giant queen size bed of sofa. <laughs> and so we've been having um, a Lord of the Rings slash Hobbit marathon all weekend. So we've been like uh, taking turns. Uh, all these stories, because if you follow us, you would have seen it. <laughs> yeah, it's like we've been alternating. Like one movie we watch with Benji on the couch, one movie we watch with Celine on the bed in my bedroom, and then we go back and forth. So that's how my holiday's been. But it's been good. It's been nice. Aww. We had lots of presents. I got lots of sweet gifts, and I got to give lots of sweet gifts. And the baby animals got lots of presents too, like probably more than both of us together. Oh, <laughs> so well, nice, y'all. I have a bit of a an update on update. everything actually i mean i i went to alaska mm. for those who are not aware i went to alaska to deliver a cat so, not herself. she did not birth a cat i did not birth a cat i i delivered a cat for my friend who uh she lived in los angeles for several years and then she went to alaska where she's from and she did not realize at the moment that she would be there permanently. And nine months later, she was lamenting on Facebook that she missed her cat. And she said, oh, I wish someone would fly my cat to Alaska. You're like, ding, so ding, ding. Like, I'll do it. <laughs> Whatever, I'll do it. I mean, I've wanted to visit Alaska for 12 years. And I uh, I love cats. So I made arrangements. I bought a ticket to Alaska. And I literally flew to Alaska with this cat just to reunite the cat with her cat mom. So it was great. I got to see my friend RJ, AKA Rachel, and she's amazing. She's an artist. She's a, an actress. She's an amazing human. Is she a vet? Huh? Is she a vet? She's not a vet, no, but she is a member of my theater group, Loft Ensemble. Yeah. So I met her last year when we were doing Macbeth, and uh, I went and saw it. it was yes, amazing. you were there, Amanda. <laughs> so she's an amazing human, and I love cats, obviously. Um, so I flew with her cat for five hours and fifteen minutes on this flight to Alaska, <laughs> and I arrived at one a.m. on <laughs> December twentieth. And I went to her place. I dropped the cat on her porch and I said, here's your cat. <laughs> so, Bye. 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 <laughs> she was reunited with her cat after nine Bye. months away from her cat. That's so long. I would be devastated. I'm I devastated. Know, I thought, if I were separating from Wally and Louie for that long, I would be insane. And I'll not. I've only, I've, only, I've only been separated from Wally and Louie for like a week and a half. I'm not already insane. So I can only imagine being separated from them for nine months. And I thought, I gotta, I gotta go. So I went to Alaska. I reunited her with her cats. I had a great time in Alaska. And, and then I flew to Texas to visit family, which is a little, it felt a little weird during a pandemic because of, you know, obvious reasons, but I got to see family. And then I connected with someone really special. Yes! Tell us, tell us, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I got to connect in a physical way. <laughs> um, Anna. <laughs> but um, so after the after we did the uh, the Dream Man episode and the girlfriend resume episode, I got a DM on Instagram mm -hmm. from someone who I've been friends with for about a year. 
And he confessed that he had some feelings for me and he listened to the episodes and he took notes, which I love. You gotta and do that, Helen. He was on a date. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He asked me out on a date. So um, I'm really, we, we, uh, we've been texting and FaceTiming pretty much every day since. And mm -hmm. we have our first date tomorrow. Yeah! Woo -hoo! I'm really excited. Yeah. What are you wearing? I'm really excited. He's he's pretty special. So mm. my going days might be over, ladies. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'll see. That's okay. <laughs> horrible. So we'll see what happens Ooh. over the next few days. But um, we yeah. do have plans to spend New Year's Eve together. So, um, yeah, you're going on a little trippy trip too, aren't you? Or no? Yeah, so I'm going to the Grand Canyon with this person. And um, I've never been to the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon for sure. <laughs> I texted this person, hey, I have a weird, wacky idea I'd like to run by you. And he said, sure, what is it? And I said, I'd like to go to the Grand Canyon with you. Tell and me said, what day yeah. you're going to the Grand Canyon. What? What day are you going to be there? Um, probably sometime in the next week, probably in the next week and a half. Yeah. Like January 10th, let's say. Possibly. Why? Because I will be there at January 10th. What? <laughs> what? Up. No. I'm right now. That's, yeah, that's no. Sunday. Yeah, me that. And Boo and, yeah, me and Boo and Benji are going on a road trip as well. And our first stop is Grand Canyon on the 10th. Oh, my God. Oh. If I don't pick up anything, <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna technically I'm gonna be in Michigan on January 10th, okay. and I'm oh. gonna see if new Boothang can go with me. I'm waiting for his schedule, uh -huh. but um, yes. Can I just share a quick thing that he texted me when I landed? It's really yes. I want to hear it. <laughs> I know. Because he knows that words of affirmation is my love language. So he said, you know, sometimes when we talk. Good job. He said, sometimes when we talk, I genuinely get lost in your beauty. So if I ever ask you to repeat something, it's because i just thinking you're so pretty. Uh. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm smitten. Oh. I'm a smitten kitten. Smitten so. kitten. So you should change your name on this. Mine is Sex Kitten. Yours is Jennifer. It should say Smitten Kitten. Anna, what kitten are you? <laughs> no sex kitten. <laughs> snuggle kitten. Um, Smitten just kitten, so snuggle kitten, sex kitten. <laughs> Anna, how was your <laughs> weekend? Um, my no weekend is great. not too great, as the girls have known. So I was telling... So I was telling the girls before we were recording this, and obviously because we talk offline, um, I just took two COVID contracts. Um, I've been a nurse working this whole pandemic since March, and I just got a contract in the ICU in downtown LA, and it fucking sucks. So my weekend was literally just doing that, you know, seeing people you die. Christmas Day. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. What was so, it like working on Christmas Day? Huh? What was it like working on Christmas Day? Um, so Christmas Day, what was that? That was Friday. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was Friday. So that was my first day of orientation at the ICU. Um, I came in, I got to literally my patient here to the ER overflow, and we basically just um took patients that were being that, that were being held from the er they came to our department which is like a little area with a bunch of beds and basically uh waiting to be dispatched to like either icu or to let me take like cardiac issues you know um the sad thing about that is that you know anything can happen in those few precious moments and people will um couldn't die so i saw um a couple of people die on christmas day and 
Um, I got transferred back to ICU and I got to do that and it, it hasn't been fun. And I'm just hoping that everything changes in the, like the next few months. I'm waiting to get my vaccine, not this upcoming weekend, but the following weekend, that's when I'm up for it. And I'm just hoping that this shit blows over because I'm fucking sick of it. Cause I've been a year into it and, um, I'm done. I'm I'm so I'm so over it. So not to be a downer on this episode, but that has been my year. That yeah. has unfortunately been my year. So and that, that cool. kind of leads me into this segue idea of like um wanting to say that, you know, like just because it's gonna be the new year, it's gonna be like boom 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 now it's 2021 this shit doesn't go away just because it's 2021 yeah not for everyone yeah. I mean, people are living their lives like nothing has changed there we have friends and i'm sure we know who they are <laughs> yes we do that have literally lived their lives as if nothing has happened there's no pandemic COVID doesn't exist it's a hoax the vaccine is evil. Um, and, you know, the new year is like nothing new for them. So mm -hmm. that's that's how it is. But, you know, it's not like that for everyone, unfortunately. So, yeah. Well, I, for one, cannot wait to get the vaccine as soon as it's available. Yeah. Because I've gotten pretty much every vaccine under the sun because of my military service. I've got a <laughs> vaccine, for God's sake, anthrax, <laughs> and I'm still alive. So, I'm, yeah, I'm going to get the fucking COVID vaccine as soon as I can. Jen, you should post that video that I sent you about, like, the, the um, all, like, um, service members, like, military members, like, getting every Kind of like, the there was a like, man making naan with his feet, and I. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You ladies have any New Year's resolutions? Um, I would say I I don't specifically have a New Year's resolution, although I do plan to kind of use this opportunity to review. Um, but I do think that um every couple months I kind of review like what, what is it that I want? Where am I going? What am I trying to create here? Because I don't think it's something that we need to spend only one time a year focusing on. No. I think it's something that you should like the first of every month, not just the first of the year, first of every month you should be looking yeah. at. It's every fucking week. Every yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. Like you should be waking Monday up. Morning. Morning. Here we go. Yeah. Into it. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to refill really quick, but continue. I'm listening. When we started 2020, we all met for brunch and we came up with a list of goals that we had for ourselves. Yeah. And I actually have in my hand a list of all of the goals I have for, for that, at least the first quarter of 2020, because we were yeah, working. Because we do it like three months at a time. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I actually have a list and I want to go over what I did accomplish and what I did not accomplish and I think serve us as we go into the new year. So, yeah, of course. so 2020 letter of achievement, I, Jennifer Brofer will create love, commitment and creativity in all areas of my life. In my relationships, I will attend a brunch with the girls once a month. Check. Check. Well, that was amazing. Now it's twice a month or more. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's at least twice a month now. Yeah. I will have a date night with my former partner once a month, which we did when we were together. Mm -hmm. I will call Mel by February 1st, which I did. I will call my mom once a month, which I did not. I'm sorry, mom. I should call her more. <laughs> I she will... visited you. <laughs> She's going to come visit me. I will spend time with my mom, brother, and uncle January 29th through February 2nd, which you I literally did. just saw them me. today, I think. My mom visited me in my in January uh, for my birthday. Yes. Um, I will plan an epic birthday surprise for my birthday for my former partner, which I did. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. As far as my career goes, I will renew the shopping agreement for this project I'm working on, mm -hmm. which I did. I will update my website and casting sites, which I did. I will produce um, 
Amy's short film, which I did. And by the way, that short film called Into Light is now in a, an Oscar qualifying short film festival. So, <gasps> yeah. Hey. Sorry, it's like it's been. Send us a link in our group. Fuck you. It is now an Oscar qualifying short film. So Ooh. I will produce and star in Before Your Time, Before March 30th. That is a short film that I have not done because the pandemic happened. Let's see. I will start a future film by the end of the year. That did not happen. I will co star in a. Wait, wait, wait. Pause. Star in a feature film. Oh, okay. Star. I did not star, you but I was in a feature film for I sure. was in a feature film. I was a background actor on Tenet. That's amazing, Nolan, though. Which is pretty <laughs> awesome, right? Time <laughs> out. Time you were out. an actor. Not a background actor. You were an actor. I was an actor in Tenet, yes. And you can yes. see my face on screen yes. for, a few, for more than a few seconds, actually. And I drove with you to San Diego to see it in a theater where there was very minimal theaters actually closed down because <laughs> of the pandemic. We drove 150 miles an hour the whole way there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so I, I was in a feature film. And let's see, I did not plan in a paint and wine night with my friends because of COVID and well, we had attend. better, we had better nights. We yeah. had other nights. Yeah. I did not attend electric forest with my former partner because Which, it, I don't it, think it was even open. Yeah. It was canceled because of COVID. Yeah. I did not go on my girl's trip to Miami because of COVID. COVID. Yeah. I, but I did. Well, at least for the first few months, I did drink a breakfast smoothie or shake at least three times per week. For the first few months, uh, I did cook dinner twice a week for the first few months, and I did not. But I did not run a. I did not run a half marathon with my former partner because it was canceled because of COVID. COVID. But I did pay off all my debts. Also, to back back to your marathon, marathon, you did do the turkey trot, even though I did do the turkey trot, which is a five k on Thanksgiving it morning. It wasn't a half marathon, but you did keep running. It wasn't like I you did, did keep running. running. And I did more than a thousand savings. So, I, as far as financially, I accomplished my goals. I donated clothes. I coordinated the blood drive. You're down. That is my list. So, hey, yeah. I'm excited I, for 2021. I'm excited. I think it's going to be great. I, I quit my former job that I had as a COVID compliance officer. Because as the girls know, I was beginning to dread going into work because I'm a producer, I'm an actor, I'm a creative. And so working in COVID compliance was not aligned in alignment with my long-term goals. Right. So I quit that job and I have a lot of exciting things on the horizon for me in 2021. And I'm, I can't wait for them. <laughs> yes. I don't have mine in front of me, unfortunately. It's on my phone, which I'm using to record this, so I can't see it. But let's see. Uh, it feels like I've just been working every day this entire year. <laughs> it's like I went from like, Happy New Year, Jen's birthday, my friend's birthday. Uh, I went to Mardi Gras. Amazing. I came back from Mardi Gras, and I got my cat. <gasps> When I, I came back from Mardi Gras, yeah, yeah I, like, I went to Mardi Gras, I visited my friends, my friends got like uh, proposed to, and I love my friends because the woman proposed to the man, and I love it. Wait, wait, how did she do it? How did she do it? Um, she did it by herself. Okay, so originally it was like, I'm going to do it here. We're going to do it this way. I'm going to do it that way. And then when it came time to like propose to him in front of everyone at Mardi Gras, she's like, we're going to go back home and hang out. And then she just did it at the house by herself, <laughs> which is sweet. Um, so I took some like fun, silly photos. Okay, so my friend that lives in New Orleans is actually my old boss at the photo studio I used to work at. So we're both photographers, right? So then we were like, let's take some photos. You guys are getting married. <laughs> so we took some fun photos. We did a lot of Mardi Gras stuff. It was super fun. And then I left New Orleans and went to Florida and picked up my kitty cat and then flew back with her. So it was like, yay, I went to Mardi Gras, I have a new kitty. And then it was like 
the week after I got home, everything shut down. <laughs> and then I've literally been working all through COVID, which is great. And I appreciate it. And I'm grateful. And I know there's a lot of people that wish they were working. Um, and, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side, right? Like on one hand, I know a bunch of people that aren't working. And they're like, I wish I was working like you. And on the other hand, I'm like, I wish I was at home doing all my hobbies like you. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm, most of the year I've just been working. Um, I haven't taken any vacations or gone anywhere, done anything like super exciting. I've just mostly been doing DTM or going to work and being with my boo. And that's about it. What's that? I said getting some dick. Lots of it. Lots and lots. Choking on it. Hey. We should post it here. That's what we like to hear. We love choking on dick here at DTM. <laughs> For Christmas, I did a little uh, fun, you know, like we did opened our presents and blah, blah, blah. And then like the end of the day, I was like, I have one more present for you. And then asked him to come in the bedroom and I had like, like bright red lingerie on, right? And I was like, I want to give you a massage and I want to massage your dick. And oh my God. <laughs> And then I think my my an aftermath photo that was just like every sex toy under the sun and fucking everything on my bed. <laughs> For a lot of fucking goals, by the way. I looked at that and I was like, fuck, I need to I need to have more toys. I know. You're zooming in on your picture too. I'm like, yeah, girl, get it. Do you know what's funny? Is I sent that photo. I sent that photo to you guys, and then I was like, maybe I should stage it better because half the shit's under the blankets, and you can't even see what else is there. It was like only half the shit. <laughs> You had the blanket, or you know, you had the pillow. Yeah, because like, there's like shit stuffed under the blankets and under pillows, and like I'm no finding shit on the floor. And <laughs> I was jealous. I was honestly jealous because I was with my like dad and my family on Christmas. I was like, "Well, I'm not gonna eat dick. I'm yeah, je yeah. I'm jealous." I know you have like yeah, the ultimate. There was, there was like day. CBD lube shoved under the blankets and like butt plugs and like all sorts of other stuff. <laughs> oh. I'm so yeah. jealous. I was living vicariously through you that night because I was not getting any dick. Same. <sighs> I should crack another one, huh? I'm about to. I'm, I'm on my third one now. This is my. Third. I'm gonna let you guys vote. Well, I had a whiskey first. I had an old fashioned. I have a sparkling white. I have a red wine blend, and I have sparkling rosé. Do the sparkling white. I'm doing. I've had all four. I'm like so late right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited to enter this new year with you ladies because because when we, we when we started 2020 which ended up being kind of a shit show it did start out well because I had you to keep me accountable for my my goals and I did accomplish a lot yeah. of my goals because we wrote them down we met once a month to talk about how we've you know, progressed in our goals and I got a lot of done. So I'm looking forward to the new year and, you know, a new list. Cool. What's that? A new list. And a new list. A new list. Yes. And I new think the year. best thing, I think the best thing about all three of us is like, no one takes any shit. Like, bitch, when are you going to get this done? <laughs> By when? <laughs> By when, bitch? What can you create? <laughs> what can you create? <laughs> what can you create? What, what I hope you have, I think it's super important to have a support system like I have with the DTM girls. And mm -hmm. I think I could not have done what I accomplished without their support. So I, I appreciate you both. I and I look forward to entering a new year with, you know, new goals and hopefully, you know, new dick and hopefully a dick that stays in my life for a while. Um, yeah, it like <laughs> I think it would be fun if live right now we decide we each pick one DTM goal. I'm committed to making a Patreon. I'm, I'm committed to creating, I'm committed to creating a DTM logo and for uh, creating our very first merch item, which will be a t-shirt. Alpha so S bitch. Look for that in the new year. What about you, Anna? Uh, does it have to be like DTM 
Just DTM related, whatever it is. I just want dick. DTM wine. <laughs> Literally. I have not had any since fucking October. If you've been listening, you know my story. I have not been getting any dick. I'm not going to get any because <laughs> I'm in the pandemic and I'm being responsible and I'm not trying to put anyone at risk. I'm growing a bush. <laughs> I just want dick. Like, literally. That's that's my goal. I just want steady ass dick. This is this is our call to action for our readers <laughs> to send molds of their dick to you. We need a DTM PO box for all the dicks. We should have a PO box. box. Actually, you know, I dreamed of this. I actually dreamed of having a PO box because I can't give my actual address. But we should create a PO box for DTM so people can send us stuff. Yes, like a mold of their dick. Yeah. I will marry dick. You, like mold of your dick. Like if you send me like, have have my first name, but stapled to that mold of your dick is your your boyfriend resume as well. <gasps> yes. <laughs> That's <was> crazy. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Girls, I'm about to have yeah. first, my first date tomorrow with this guy, the special guy. Ooh. 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 I hope it goes well. I think it'll go well. I mean, yeah. we've been friends for a long time, so I think it'll go well because I really like him as a person. So, yeah. We'll see. But like, do any of you guys realize that, like, on the screen, that my name is Anna L because that's my initial, but Hello. also, you know, <laughs> Wait, what is your middle name? Huh? What's your middle name? Nobody knows. Bitch. No, it's a mystery. <laughs> so you're just Anna. I hate my middle name. I hate it. <laughs> Let's make up a middle name for her. Yeah. Uh, I would say Loretta. Anna Loretta. Loretta. Anna Loretta. I would say Loretta. Anna Loretta. Show. Loretta. Loretta. <laughs> you know, we cannot have made it through this year. At least not past the last few months without our supporters because we just started this podcast a couple months ago, like three months Literally. ago. Yeah. And we've gotten so many amazing supporters. And yeah. so we are literally so thankful for all of you out there who thankful. listen, who watch the YouTube because we are, by the way, we are in our underwear. Well, at least I am. I, know I, I have a sheer top. top and I will like flash it twice, but like. Oh, I saw some nipple. Oh, yeah. No. Yes. So thank you to all of our listeners and supporters. And we could not have made it without our liquor daddy. Amanda, would you like to give a little spiel on our liquor daddy? It's funny. I was just thinking, like, do we remember the address by heart? Is it 5203 Fountain Avenue? 5203 Fountain Avenue. Oh, my God. We remember all by heart. 5203 Fountain Avenue. The liquor fountain. Um, our friends over at the liquor fountain are fucking phenomenal. I challenge you to go over there and find something you don't like because it's impossible and you will fail. Yeah. yeah. Everything there the, is good. By the way, they're actually really sexy. So if you just want to like sexy over, daddies or over something, that's what we call them our like they're all hot. Yeah. So, I'm talking to you, liquor daddy. You know who you are. <laughs> we um, have an episode where Jen Jen does liquor daddies. Oh, girl, I'm about to enter into a relationship here. Oh, no. <laughs> But he's very, he's, he, our liquor daddy is very sexy. You can get, yeah. well, at least until the end of the year, you can get $10 off with the discount code DTM. When you yeah. use the liquor daddy app, the liquor fountain app. Liquor <laughs> daddy app? The liquor daddy app. No, the liquor fountain app. Yeah, and you know what? New Year's is coming up, so get on that shit. Get it all delivered. No drinking and driving. I will tell you from experience, there's a fuck ton of people scouting out every road around here trying to catch you drinking and driving yeah. because there's nothing else to do. So just get it delivered. It's awesome. Everything you can order from there will be great. You can get shit that's like woman run. Just yeah. like yeah. can them. I like it. <laughs> 
waving the can for those who are now on YouTube. I know. <laughs> the people that aren't physically watching this, you're missing out. Um, I'm yeah. in my underwear, so you should be watching the YouTube. I'm wow. in my underwear with a sheer okay. top over. And I'm also mad because my cat put holes in it because I was trying to catch her <laughs> and she put all of her nails in my shirt. But anyway, Anna, Anna, do you have any final words before we close out this episode? Um, drink up. <laughs> I can't think of anything like. Give us a know, sex move that we can try on New Year's. Wait, what? What sex move should we bring in the New Year with? Okay, so I'm going to be working New Year's, but if I could live vicariously through everyone, if you're, I don't know, like fucking dick, sucking dick, taking dick, one of my favorite things is just like doggy style, just, <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> I'm trying to see if my tongue can actually go on the bottom of my chin. I think it can. <laughs> I think it can. I can see your Um no, just you know, like God speed. Like God everyone. Speed. <laughs> well, everyone like have fun, be safe, just wear a fucking hazmat suit. Like if you wanna like fuck someone, just you know, like double wrap that shit. I don't know. That's all I gotta say. Thank you yeah. all for listening. We so appreciate you. We could not do what we do without our amazing listeners and supporters. So thank yeah. you for listening for the last couple months and stay tuned next week or and next year for the next episode of Dick Talk and Mimosas. So suck some dick. Bye. 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 Bye.